So joining me now, House Foreign Affairs Committee Ranking Member, Texas Republican, Congressman Mike McCall. Um, great to have you here today, Congressman. You know, just listening hey, Martha, to Rich's report. Hi there. Thanks for being here. Listening to Rich Edson's report, it's, it's tough to find our leverage in that situation. Well, it is. You can't negotiate out of weakness. You have to negotiate out of strength. Uh, I would say the maximum uh, pressure campaign was working. Uh, we took out Soleimani as well. And if we're going to start kind of backtracking uh, and showing weakness, the Ayatollah, you know, what they're doing is they're testing the new administration coming in, the Biden administration. They know that they're eager to get a deal. And I, I worry uh, that we're going to, we had the same team coming back, by the way, Secretary Blinken, who I uh, talked with the other day, headed up the team, John Kerry, uh, Robert uh, Mallory, who um, is now the special envoy, all uh, basically negotiated the Iran nuclear deal, which we know has failed because they are now within three to four months of a breakout period to get 90 percent enriched uranium enough to have a nuclear bomb. So uh, this is going to be one of the greatest foreign policy challenges facing this new administration. Yeah, um, it, it's a it's a scary situation uh, and leverage is everything in these deals. And it seems like a number of the people that you just mentioned were sort of softening the discussion while President Trump was trying to take a harder line and see how far we could get in uh, backing down these nuclear programs in Iran.